I mentioned last night that there is technology that can actually change the color of the traffic light when emergency vehicles are approaching. Well, today I found out how widespread that technology is and at least one of the places where it already is in our area. This 2021 crash claimed the lives of three people when Dominic Biscari, on his way to a fire with lights and sirens, drove a fire pumper truck 16 miles over the speed limit through a red light, hitting SUV at the intersection of Westport and Broadway, and then a pedestrian. Entering an Alford plea in a plea bargain to avoid jail time, Biscari maintained his innocence, though prosecutors argued that he didn't exercise due regard for others' safety before entering the intersection. Biscari's attorney pointed out Kansas City fire trucks are equipped with technology that could have prevented the situation, but the city has never installed the needed equipment on its side. It's called Opticom. And the company says it's now in 48 of the 50 largest cities in America. A fire chief in the Indianapolis area explained how it works. It turns the light green for the direction you're going and it stops the, the cross traffic. Overland Park tells Fox 4 the technology has been in place since before the year 2000 there. It says transponders cost $1,500 for each vehicle and $10,000 for each intersection. The company says its emergency vehicle preemption technology is in place at more than 90,000 intersections and it's reduced crashes by up to 70 percent and response time by up to 25 percent. Fox 4 contacted the fire department, which referred us to the city for all questions about why discovery in the Biscari case found those transponders are installed in KCFD trucks, but allegedly not at city intersections or at least Westport and Broadway. We called and emailed a city spokesperson multiple times over the past two days about the technology but never received a response. Now, as for the firefighters suspension without pay and the fire department's announcement that they're going to try to terminate him as they have this internal investigation now that it's started, Dominic Piscari's attorney said the following. Dominic will do everything that he can to retain his position on the fire department. His team is prepared to vigorously fight to help him keep what the city has wrongly taken from him. We are disappointed by the city's arbitrary decision and believe it will be overturned. Of course, continue to follow the latest developments in this. Dave DeMarco, Fox 4, working for you.